Hello everybody, Assassinator back with another Halo Infinite weekly update video for week number 71. So this week, we got a few things going on. We got a brand new event, which right here, the Fracture Firewall. And uh, along with that, we got a mode that we can go in and play. But I'm going to go ahead and start off with the shop like usual. Because obviously we have some new items in here. So I'm going to start with the daily. Now, for those of you who don't know, I have been putting out a daily video, and on the daily video, I go ahead and show what the daily item is. So if you don't want to have to log in for that, you can go ahead and just see my YouTube shorts, because I do put out the video for that. Just wanted to put that out there in case that's something that will help you out. So what we got here is we got a pretty cool Mark 7 coating. Overall, doesn't look too bad, but again, I don't know what they're doing with a bunch of yellow. They like to use yellow for some reason, and to me, that's just not something I really care for too much. But for three bucks, it's not a bad looking coating overall. Then we got the next one. This one I believe is the one that will change out on Friday. So I believe you have until Friday to actually buy this coating if this is what you want. And it's a Hydra coating for again, 300 credits. Not too bad looking here, so overall not too bad. Then let's move on to the next, which is this, uh, I guess, a bunch of vehicle coding. So seven in all, all for eight bucks or 800 credits. So you got it for the Mongoose. You got it for the Razorback. You got it for, eh, the Wasp don't look too bad, the Wasp. You got it for the Scorpion, the Gun Goose, the Rocket Hog, and last but not least, the regular Mongoose. So again, does not look too bad. I wouldn't say that this uh, color scheme is really bad on here. It obviously just goes by uh, what type of look you're going for. And it's different. I like that tiger look, you know, just because it's different. I wouldn't put this on my vehicle, at least not this color, but overall it's not bad. Moving on to the next one, five piece bundle right here. So here we get a pretty cool uh, stance. I like that one. It has the new cube in his hand right there for all you people who liked Kong. So that's different. Then we're moving over. Okay, so for this is for the Chimera core, which is the main core of the week, just because we got the fracture event, which you get uh, parts for the Chimera core. So here you get that knife on the side. But let's see what my character would look like with that. Okay, that's that knife would not really uh, stand out too much. So not really something I would use. You get the matching side without the knife. So there you go there. We get a coating right here, which again is for the Chimera. Okay, that one to me, I don't, too much orange in my opinion. And then you get a cool armor effect, which I like. I think this one would go really good with uh, the Chimera um, armor core, especially with that beginning uh, helmet. I just think that that one would look really cool. You know, this helmet that I have on right here. I think that that would be really cool. It reminds me of the one that you were able to obtain from, what was that one? It was like the Neo event from season one. So it's like a version like that. So I would like to have this. I'd pay four, maybe even five bucks if I'm feeling a little bit uh, loose with my money. But I would not pay 1200 for this whole set because the only two items I really care for is the stance, which I probably would not use, but it does look really cool. And then obviously the armor effect, and I love the armor effect. So 343, hopefully you bring this out as a one piece later on, maybe make it a daily for, like I said, four or 500 credits. Then over here, we got the final bundle, the biggest bundle, 22 pieces in this bundle. And what you get is this groovy pink. You get it for, it looks like most, if not all of the weapons. I'm going to flip through those pretty quick. So you can see what they look like. All right, then you get this uh, Chimera armor uh, coating, which again, doesn't look all the best in my opinion, but those just aren't my colors. You get a weird looking helmet, but actually I might end up using this helmet if I were to purchase it. It doesn't look too bad. And here it is with an attachment. So again, looks cool, looks different, but I don't think I got uh, 2,200 credits I wanna spend on this. You get the cross core visor. And let's see what else we have. Okay. You get a Mark 7 coating, which again, I don't know, looks uh, Easter ish. And Easter is right around the corner, so doesn't look too bad there. 
Then you got the left and right shoulder pad for the Mark 7. You got a helmet attachment for the Mark 7. You got a pretty cool looking helmet right here. I mean, uh, it doesn't look too bad, especially on my Spartan, my, how my Mark 7 is set up. So that would be one of those that I would like from this bundle. But again, I'm not paying 2200 for just a couple items. You got a chest piece. You got the knee pads for the Camara coating. You got the chest piece for the Camara core, which I don't know. That that just uh, extends the chest area. Not really seeing why they would have done that. You know, just to keep on showing off, uh, I guess, the eight pack abs there. All right, then we got the left and right shoulder pad, which obviously changes color depending on uh, what your coating is. So that all for 2,200 credits. So with that out of the way, let's move on to the event that is going on. So the event is the, again, the Fracture Firewall. And in here, you're only able to make it max 10 tiers. But of course, I'm going to be maxing out what I can. So I am going to make it through the top 10. So I'm going to go ahead and just show you the top 10 here. So you get the backdrop. You get the armor emblem. You get the vehicle coating. You get the armor coating for your Chimera uh, armor core. You get the helmet, which I think might be the best Camaro helmet. That's what I'm thinking. I'll have to wait and see. But you get that at uh, tier 5, again, for the Camaro. You get the vehicle emblem. You get the vehicle coating. And you get the bandit coating. Pretty cool looking bandit coating. You get the violet darkness um, cross core visor. And then you get some knee pads that change color depending on what your visor color is. So that green area, that all changes color depending on what your visor color is. And you'll end up getting some shoulder pads, a uh, chest attachment, and a wrist attachment that do the same thing. But you can't do that. All you can do is make it here max to level 10 if you do everything that you need to do in order to get it. Which means you have to complete all 10 of these challenges. So these four plus these six. They're all event challenges. Each one you complete is a tier that you move up in that, uh, I guess, the event pass. And then it the, looks like you get burnt chrome. I can't see what the burnt chrome looks like. Let's see if it shows it at the beginning. Sometimes it shows it there. So here we go. Look for that burnt chrome, which will be the weekly. There you go. So you're going to get the burnt chrome for the Mark 7. I believe it was supposed to be something different. That's what the leak showed was something different. But again, the leaks that come out don't always mean that that's going to be the item that you get. For the most part, I would say it's 90% correct. But then that other 10%, they do change things up or, you know, there was just something put in there as a temporary hold spot. So that's kind of how it is. What's good about these challenges is you do not need to do them on any specific playlist. Just kind of look at them and see if you can do it in the, I guess, the mode that you want to do it in. Unlike last week and the week before that. So the featured mode for this week is Lone Wolves. And so that's going to be a bunch of free-for-all modes. So if you like to be out there, um, 1v1, v1, v1, you know, you know that. Then basically this would be the mode for you. If it's not something for you, then obviously it's not something that you should get into and uh, play. Go ahead and play your big team battle social if that's what you like. Quick play, regular big team, rank, any of those and try to complete your uh, challenges for the week. If you even want those items. Because according to my poll that I put up, I want to say five hours ago, 180 people voted. And I want to say... About 50% said that they only like two to four of those items out of the first 10. So those 10 that I showed you, they only like two to four of those. And then the rest of them are kind of scattered kind of evenly. Right around 15% will say they either like a 0 to 1, 5 to 7, or 8 through 10. So overall, the majority of people are in the same boat as me. I want to say that there's like three or four items so far that I like from that pass. And then my other poll that I put up, which I put up over a week ago... But I basically let it run for about seven days. It had 347 votes. And what everyone voted for in there was basically what battle pass level are you six days in to the Halo Infinite Season 3 battle pass. And at that time when I stopped it, which like I said, was roughly about, I don't know, seven days ago. So about a week ago. It looks like 41% said they're between level 1 and 20. 29% said between 21 and 40, 11% said 41 through 60, and 9% said 61 through 100. 
Now, I do know quite a few people who told me they completed it. I know Uber Nick completed it. So there are quite a few people that were able to complete it in less than one week. Now, to me, that's a lot of grinding, a lot of double XP. But you know what? If the grinding is fun, it's a brand new season, brand new maps, it's not too bad. I'm currently at level 43, so really not too bad. After this week, I'll probably be closer to 60, I would say. And that's with only using one double XP. I'm probably going to end up using a double, another double XP. But for the most part, there is no need to rush it if you're someone who's going to keep on returning weekly to end up playing Halo. Just because you'll naturally end up getting there. So that's just a little piece of advice right there. Don't want to make this video too much longer. So that's going to be it this time. I will talk to you next week, but until then... Assassinators out.